Everyone's like, oh my god, you're doing your makeup without standing it? And I'm like, yeah. Welcome back, my gorgeous little queens. Today's video is all about makeup separation. Why your makeup separates. I know for a lot of people, it separates around the nose area. Funny enough, I used to have that issue as well, especially when I was starting out makeup. I would put on my foundation and I felt like, one, it would separate when I'd apply the foundation and two, it would separate when I put products on. So we're gonna just run over a little things that you need to do so that doesn't happen and your makeup looks amazing, your foundation stays for day. Let's get to this video. <laughs> step one, the key step to everything is cream. Whether, you, whether or not you have oily, dry, combination, Whatever skin condition you have, cream is gonna be your best friend. This is one of my favorite creams of all time. It's the Ember Elisi, Ember Elisi. <laughs> this one right here. It's so good, as you can see, I've almost used it up. This is my one, I have a different one for my clients. Now, depending on your skin condition, this is how much I use. I do have a little, more in-depth video on my course. It's only $5 if you want to check that out and that goes on different skin types and how I would apply my cream and what I would use, etc. So I just dot it. I don't really dot anything else except my cream. It's on. And now we're just going to really go everywhere. I go over my lips because it's cream. Why not? And I just really... Um, going in oh what a feeling Toyota okay now with the good thing about this cream is it does settle in the skin quite quickly so you don't have to wait too long now here's the big little secret right you don't want to apply your foundation straight after I personally like to wait at least five minutes minimum before I put on my foundation. Why? Because I just put product on my skin. Usually I, well not usually, sometimes I go in with a primer, I use the milk primer. Can't see it right now, but I do use that. If not, I just go in with my cream, put my eye cream, put my lip cream, and then I start my eyes. By the time I finish my eyes, my skin is already, everything's absorbed. So when I do apply my foundation, it's not gonna go anywhere. That's the biggest reason why foundation separates is because you apply your cream or you apply your primer, especially around your nose. When you apply your primer around your nose, then you go straight in with foundation. It hasn't had time to settle into your skin to do what it's meant to do. So of course it's gonna get blotchy and it's gonna separate. So you wanna wait. We're gonna wait. We're just gonna wait. Time in. You can put your timer on, you can play with your hair, change your clothes, do something different. I don't know, you do you boo. <laughs> it has been about five to 10 minutes and my skin feels somewhat dry, but also a little bit tacky, which is what we want. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation and I'm gonna show you exactly how I use this. If you haven't seen my recent video on how much foundation to apply, I will leave it up here. So go check it out and then come back. So I'm taking my brush. I'm just taking a little bit of product and I like to start in these areas. Now, as you see, I'm not rubbing, I'm dabbing. I'm literally just dabbing this product in. And I'm using like a light hand, I'm holding the brush kind of halfway and I'm just dabbing away. Another key, you don't want to apply too much product because when you do, it can either start looking cakey or it can start flaking. So my forehead, I just don't really care that much about it because there's nothing there. And then I am just going kind of around everything just to make sure. Don't forget your neck. <laughs> Let me just put some concealer on because I look a little bit crazy. What is this? Oh, hello. <laughs> Little rat tail. Okay, I want to show you something. Oh, this hair is like just needs to go. Okay, it's gone. So let me show you something. I just want my concealer on, nothing crazy. There's two ways we can apply the rest of our face. One without powder and then one applying powder and then applying it. I'm going to show you the difference. So on this side, I'm just going in with a bit of my blush. Now. To avoid makeup separation, 
in, like there's no powder on my face so I'm not gonna just go in because first my foundation is still setting on my skin secondly it's not set so it's not gonna apply as creamy or seamless as it would if I had powder on or if I applied uh, what is it <laughs> cream product oh my god that was so 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 slow so when you apply a cream product first then you can go over with a powder and then we can go from there so i'm going to apply here just this powder now the key to making it look effortless is to apply stamping motions you don't want to go in and do that because this is powder and we're applying cream on top of powder without anything else so i'm really just lightly kind of popping that on my cheeks in a contoury way i just wanted to change it up i'm allowed so that blended out quite nicely right now on this side i'm going to show you i'm going to apply my powder with of course my sponge or my powder puff whatever might as well just set my under eye and then I'm just very lightly, not putting much powder on, going over my whole cheek, okay? Now already you can see the difference, okay? So now, I'm going back with the same brush and I'm using the same shades on my brush. Don't want, if you don't want too much, just rub on the back of your hand. And now I can very lightly just buff it in. Because the reason I can buff it in is because I have set my foundation. So I can do that and my makeup won't separate. It won't go crazy. It won't, you know, start separating. I've already put that in. I feel like I put way too much on this side. So I'm just gonna use my finger <laughs> to kind of blend that out. Because girl, that's a lot. Okay. We're just gonna have to deal with the fact that there's a lot on this side. So this is how it looks without powder on the face and just powder. And then this is how it looks with powder and the cream on top, the powder on top. So what we're gonna do is you can decide what you like. When you do set your eyes, I always recommend going in with a powder puff. So after you've set your eyes, whatever's left, dab it on the back of your hand and just push that product in. That's a really nice way to blend it and make everything just kind of look like one. Do we see? I remember when I first started makeup, I never used to set my whole face ever. And everyone's like, oh my God, you're doing your makeup without setting it? And I'm like, yeah. Then I started setting it a little bit and I noticed it just blends so much nicer. But it's totally up to you what you prefer. This is the best way to make sure your makeup doesn't separate around your nose, doesn't separate under your eyes or anywhere that you don't want it to separate. So I would highly recommend you trying it. Let me know how you go, my little gorgeous queen. And like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!